All right, I'm Gabe Martin, the burner tech. I fix air conditioners, I fix boilers, I fix furnaces, you name it, I fix it. Today I'm working at a old vacant mobile home. It smells like poo, and it's not exactly where I want to be. But as they say, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta make a living, you gotta get paid. See that thing? Look at that. Sucker sinking into the ground. My word. Come on, guys. This ain't cool. Ain't nobody putting oil in this. You can't. It's ridiculous. It ain't on the block anymore. There's this corner of the block right there. You guys see this stuff in your area? Do a lot of oil. We're in the north. Still pretty clean. Yep. Honestly, that's so sneaking clean. So I'm gonna dump that out. And I'm gonna put that right back together. So this is a K1 Beckett Nordine oil-fired warm air furnace. So right now I've already replaced the uh, pump strainer in here. That's the Beckett style pump. It actually has just two screws that loosen up and this cover turns and comes off. Then inside that is actually the uh, pump strainer. You just pull that out, clean it or replace it. There's also a, a black O-ring, rubber O-ring. Replace that as well. And once you get that back together, turn your oil back on. And then here's your bleeder port underneath. Give that a few turns loose and put a hose on it. Put it down into your bucket. You may have to hit your reset button. Yours may look different than that. They do vary in design. Bleed it till you got a solid fuel, a uh, solid uh, line of clear fuel coming up. Some nasties in there. That's why we uh, clean out those canisters at the oil tank and replace the oil filter if the oil filter is plugged. And um, right now I've actually got it fired up. I've got it turned on. Uh, you can see the flame is on in there. Burner's running. So I'm gonna shut it back off and I'm gonna replace the nozzle now. All right, pull the draw assembly out. There's your nozzle at the very tip. 65, 88. And that's retention head down on there. That's an FO head, solid head. There's a thumb nut that comes off. Pull your draw assembly up out of there. There's a combustion fan wheel down in there. You have to check that, make sure that's clean. Check your burner coupling that goes from the motor to the pump. The motor drives the pump by a nylon coupling that's down inside the housing. Burners are pretty simple. That's your igniter. That's your CAD cell. Oil primary. Air intake, cross contamination, because the flu is obviously no good. So basically I take a wire brush to this nozzle line assembly, draw assembly. Um, I don't make love to it, but I definitely just kind of give it a scrub down and I squirt it with oil. You know what I mean? But it's K1, K1 stains. You're not gonna get it perfect. Don't waste all your time because it'll run perfectly awesome. Um, even looking like that because that does not affect the operation. That's just staining. Unless you're plugging up that hole right there, those two holes with uh, dust or lint, then the cat cell eye can't see the flame. So you wanna make sure that's clear and make sure you cleaned out the um, inside of that, which is where the uh, fuel comes through into the nozzle. So you just don't, you wanna make sure that ain't got, you know, debris in it, obviously. Your electrodes, I don't touch the uh, adjustment unless they're out of whack, but I set this last year, so they're still doing pretty good. So basically my video is for professionals that like to see how other professionals do it. I don't recommend homeowners touching uh, heating and cooling systems, especially oil and gas. Um, I don't want anybody to burn down their house or kill their family because they didn't know what they were doing and they overfired something. Um, so my content's really, it's not for homeowners to do it yourselves. Um, 
a lot of homeowners think they can do it themselves and then I gotta go back and fix what you messed up. So please leave things alone. This is where I keep my nozzles. Look for a 65 ADA. Let me see any 65 ADAs in there. Oh, there's one. They're not very organized. I keep saying I'm gonna organize these and then I never do. I never touch the tip of the nozzle. It's been a rule of thumb since I ever started. Aspirator. Sometimes they go in easier when you're not doing it with one, one hand. So usually those do slide right in, but uh, Miller's are, they have a short, the shortest blast tube, this housing and the flange there's a blast tube and then there's the retention head on top and we're in the front but anyway so yeah the stubby ones like this are just hard to get in but these here make sure they don't go sideways and don't bend them too too much because they will break at least i've broken them down just a bit just to push them tighter so this is 7 16 right here the bleeder was 3 8 it really helps having the right uh, wrenches for these guys because if you're going to try to use a crescent on everything, you're going to strip things out and you're going to have a hard time. Fan looked good. Coupling looked good. I already checked it. So I uh, already went through all that last year as well. I just did this a year ago and this unit's really not that dirty. But that's K1. K1 stays pretty clean except for the staining of the oil. Tighten that down. Okay, so there we go. Then we're gonna clean the air filter, put it back together, we should be good to go. The burner does unplug for servicing, so that's pretty convenient since there is no switch. Come on, let's go shot it. So I tried to clean the filter, but it's not coming clean. Too much dog hair sucked into it, so I got a new one I'm gonna put in. So there that is. There's usually a metal um, couple bars that cross over that to hold that in, metal bracket, but there is nothing to be found on site. But that's squished in there pretty well. Get out of here. There we go. Yeah, she's running. She's on. See the green light? Flames established. No cooling on this one. Heat only. Don't stick your fingers in there. Heat off. See that? You get cool on this one. Off. No, I just went down to heat off there we go very simple basic thermostat it may say 75 but that's just the indoor temperature that is not set point if you turn it back on to heat hit it that's your set point c set 60 back to indoor temp so just turn that back off well, there's the uh, flu to that furnace looks like somebody already put it aftermarket cap on it all right, everybody. Thank you for watching that video. That wraps it up. Have a good day. Be safe out there. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Martin Heating and Cooling and uh, check out new content coming up soon. Take care.